Go to the macro panel in Affinity Photo. Click here to record. So started recording, and I'm going to go to filters and distort and twirl. You could use any of the others. So twirl and then set the angle. And I'm just going to set the angle radius. And you of course can modify the position. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just setting angle and radius and click apply. And that's recorded over here. You can see it recorded there. You can apply it again. So go to filters, distort and twirl. And you can see angle radius. Now I'm going to set different values. Just modify that, maybe go that direction and click apply. All are recorded there. I can stop the recording, click there. So recording stopped. Now you can see you've got these parameters here and you can click on there. And you can also click on that radius and you can give it a name, radius one. Because I've got two, I'm gonna go with radius one. Also again, click on there and I'm gonna go with rate twirl one. And I can do exactly the same for the other command. Now, of course, I could have used any of the other filters. So I'm just obviously using twirls here, but any of the others will have exactly the same thing, obviously different parameters. And then you click there on the radius. This time I'm gonna call it radius two, because I don't wanna confuse the, obviously the thing. So I'm just gonna click there again, and again, twirl, and this time twirl two. A little bit of a setup, but it does mean now when you run your macro, you've got here, you can run the macro, and of course you can save the macro to the library. You can go put it into a library just by clicking here. You can run it. And when you do that, you can see now you get this panel, nicely made panel with radius one, twirl one, radius two, and twirl two. And you can modify these settings. Of course, as I said, if you use different filters, you would have had different settings parameters on here. And you can modify those. Now, the only thing you can't do in this, you can't change the origin point, which is a pity. But that isn't stored away as a feature. That's just an interactive setting that's not available. And then you can see then you can click apply and run it. And again, if you do it again, just run it again. Exactly the same. Pops up every time now with radius one, twirl one, radius two, twirl two. And again, just change the settings and click apply. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.